All right, so this is a suggestion via donation. The name of the uh, video is Fat People. Uh, this will be coming from Ricky Gervais. Listen, if you guys are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see more of this specific type of content, okay? Well, let's go ahead and just jump into this immediately. Things that we never did in the first place. Why are you applauding someone for suddenly acting like a normal member of society? It's like, it's like I've lost a bit of weight. I've lost about 20 pounds. Exactly, what? No! No! You're basically applauding me for only eating as much as I need now. I should... I should have always been doing that. I got fat because I was a greedy, lazy bastard. There's no other explanation. <laughs> It's crazy. Like, um, since I've started this channel, I've, I've put on like 70 pounds uh, since I started this channel. Like, if you guys watch my, my earlier videos, you can definitely see that I have grown in, in circumference. Yes. Um, but uh, a couple of months ago, I was watching a, um, a, a Gabrielle Iglesias uh, comedy sketch. And I was just like, hold on. Wait a second. So then I got a personal trainer and I've lost 45 pounds. Right. But again, I, I sit all day on my ass for the most part. <laughs> Right? I'm not trying to make excuses for this, right? But but definitely I sit down all day creating content. Hence the reason why there's so many there's so much videos that come out on a regular basis. Um I just literally let myself go, right? Um but yeah, it's a process. It's a process. Trying to figure out how to manage, you know, sitting down all day creating content and um and managing your weight. It's rough, guys. Absolutely. But I see, I see what you guys did by, by recommending this to me, you know? All right. <laughs> I, I need the people that they come to me now and they go, oh well, oh, well done, you look great. But they weren't telling me I look terrible. They're basically saying I look terrible. They, no, don't, no one told me at the time it was really taboo. Right. I needed waiters to come over and go, fuck off, you've had enough. Oh. Right? Okay. And I've been criticised in the past for having a go at fat people. I've never had a go at fat people. I've only ever pointed out the fact that you get fat if you take in more calories than you burn off. That's right. simple science. I don't yeah. judge them in any other. It's crazy because like during my weight gain, right? Um, I don't think I ate a lot. I don't I, like, I don't drink soda or anything like that. Uh, um, if I do consume something that is like that, it's generally like zero calorie. I get it. Um, it's still like some type of like aspartame or whatever it is or the carbonation or whatever's going on, right? Um, I don't know. It was a lot of like like fast food days though, so that's a that's a thing, right? And I'm literally burning no calories sitting here. Another aspect of their life, but that's what happens. You get fat if you take in more calories than you burn off. Right. Okay. Right. And that that's indisputable. Okay. Now, the thing is, people think I'm having a go. I'm not, because I don't judge them. If I see a fat person, I don't make assumptions about him other than how they got fat. And this is the other thing. They not no, wait, wait, right? <laughs> Not only is that what makes you fat, people know that's what's making them fat. Right. This is why I personally am not taking a single bit of offense to what he's saying because I know what, he, what he's saying is not wrong. Like, I used to be, like, extremely, extremely muscular back in my days, right? My, my young days. Well, not young days. Before the channel days. <laughs> no one got fat behind their own back. Right. No, 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 no. No, no one ate and, ate and went, what the fuck's that? Okay. <laughs> It's not a surprise, it's a gradual process. You have loads of time to back out from this project. Mm -hmm. uh, and he... Also, no one's sneaking into thin people's apartments. And... Unless it's like, like, like health related, right? I mean, you can, like for, for example, let's say you woke up tomorrow and you didn't have like, um, well, no, something happened to you to the point where you had to lose. No, well, that's still not really an excuse, guys. I don't know, just, I guess, eat less than your caloric burn off. I don't know, guys. There could be a reason, potentially, like a medical reason why someone is um, overweight. This project, uh, and he... Also, no one's sneaking into thin people's apartments and uh, injecting their lettuce with a million calories. That doesn't a happen, million calories. okay? They know what's to... If you go up to a bloke and he's surrounded by cakes and pies, right? right? And you go, you know what's making you fat, don't you? He doesn't go, is it all the running? He knows what it... <laughs> But I don't make judgments, okay, other than how they got fat. Okay. okay. If I see a fat person, I don't go, oh, he's fat, therefore he's jolly, right? A lot of them are miserable, aren't they? <laughs> if, if I see a fat girl, I don't go, oh, she'd be pretty if she lost weight. That's rarely the case, okay? <laughs> 
So don't fall for that, OK? Right. We're, a lot of them started eating because they had fuck all to lose. So... Bro. No. But there's no stigma attached, because uh, the, people don't even want to use the word fat now, because I think it's derogatory. It's a real taboo subject, so they use euphemisms. They go, oh, you know, Brenda, the f big girl... <laughs> oh, oh. What, seven foot? No, no. Not to. What does she look like? Brenda, you know, she, she's the one who's clammy, even in winter. Clammy? <laughs> Just say she's fat. Nothing wrong with it. It's their choice. It's up to you if you want to be fat. It's that, fine. That they, don't, they go, you know, Brenda, that, she's out of breath just standing up at her desk. <laughs> just... Wow. But, even though it is their own fault, and it is their own fault, I feel sorry for them, right? No, I do. Particularly, particularly fat women, because fat is a feminist issue. Men get fat and we just go, fuck it, all bought and paid for, you know. All bought and paid for? We don't come under the same constraints of society. Whereas women are inundated with images of how you should be. Size zero models, this diet, that diet, look like this, keep your right. man. And they make such an effort, don't they, fat girls? They've all, always got lovely hair, aren't they? They're always having their hair. They've all got lovely hair. Always got lovely hair. Always got those lovely false nails, haven't they? They make an effort. Anything but jogging, right? <laughs> They love high heels, okay. don't they? They think it makes their legs look less... It doesn't. It just... <laughs> you can just hear them coming now. <laughs> you can just hear them coming now, bro. I don't want any... Fun you can definitely tell that there's a, there's a difference in, like, sense of humor, um, you know, in, like, across the pond, let's say, right? There definitely is a difference in sense of humor and, like, overall delivery in terms of, um, like, comedian sets. Uh, it's definitely interesting to encounter. Fat people to feel uncomfortable at one of my gigs. So next time, buy two seats. Right. I'm, I'm joking. I'm Des Dyson. He's not joking. Joe. Shut up. Maybe he's joking. He's I'm not joking. having a go. I'm just pointing out, you know. Having a go. I was listening to uh, the radio in England a few weeks back. Radio 4, quite highbrow. There was a discussion about political correctness. My name came up straight away, right? And... <laughs> There was this woman on there going, oh, yeah, like, what well, is he it's, known it's for? not right. Um, uh, Ricky Gervais, um, he makes jokes about fat people. Um, he wouldn't make jokes about gay people, would he? And being fat is like being gay. What? No, it's not. What? <laughs> you can't choose your sexuality. As we've established, you choose whether to eat too much or not. You know, you're, with, with, with your sexuality, you're born, you grow up, you discover you like same-sex relationships, and that's it. You're gay, okay? For being gay to be the same as being fat, you'd have to be born, be straight, grow up knowing you're straight, but gradually and consciously wean yourself onto cock. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Happy 16th birthday, son. Right. Um, right. This is Raoul. Suck his cock. Right. Sorry, father. Suck no, his cock. No, no, 16 now. No, Suck his no. cock. I, I, I'm heterosexual. Oh, with his newfangled words. Suck his no, cock. No, no. Come on. Right. I, I don't like cock, father. Mm. Doesn't like cock. How do you know if you've never tried it? Ah. Right. Mm. Suck his cock. I don't, suck one well, cock. Stop suck, saying that, bro. Uh, that's <laughs> not sucking it. That's playing with you. Put it in your mouth. Wow. Put it, yeah. uh, oh. Look, t t t t have a go. You might like it. Right. Oh, it's not so bad, is it? Oh. I fucking love these. Okay. If that happened, then being gay would be the same as being fat, but it doesn't, so it's not, okay? Mm -hmm. I was on a plane last year, okay, going from New York to LA, okay? And me and my girlfriend were one side of the plane, there was the aisle, and the other side there were these two huge fat women, okay? Proper. Proper, proper fat. Proper. One of them just got on and went, can I have a bout extension? Yeah, of course you can. You've earned it, right? So... <laughs> this man said, of course you can. You've earned it. <sighs> proper. In fact, I was thinking of calling the pilot out and going, should one of us swap with one of them? Otherwise, we're just going to Canada. Do you know what I mean? Just... <laughs> and one of them was even fatter than the other one, okay? And she was there, and she'd got on the plane with one of those takeaway buckets of fast food. Bucket. A bucket. I mean, there's your first clue. When did that happen? When did fat people just give up? When did they go into a shop and go, oh, fuck it, just treat me like a farmyard animal? Really? 
give me it in a bucket. In fact, just strap it to my fucking head. And right. I'll just... A bucket? Really? You want your meal in a bucket? Yes. Right? So... I mean, there has been a... Like, be fully aware that... Um, there's been a whole like like multiple movements about people just accepting who they are and that acceptance train has included everyone in any of their uh anything that they they come with right just accept that person for exactly who that is and that's the same and that's how it became acceptable to just not care like that right for some people at, at the very least right um my specific thing is that um yeah, I just don't like being as large as I currently am. Uh, and that is purely based in my activities, right? I'm not, I'm not expecting you to be like, oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's super amazing looking. Why would I say that? Or why would I expect that, right? Um, that's not my personality, right? Um, I know cause, effect. Cause, me sitting down making content all day long, generally 14 hours every single day. I generally don't take days off. Right. Um, for the last year and a half. Right. What? Five, six, seven, ten, eleven videos a day. Yeah, guys. It happens. <laughs> I'm working she's on there. It. I'm working and she's on chowing it. down. Right. And I swear she turns to her fat friend and says, this is the best fried chicken I've had all day. All day. But I'm not having a go. I'm not having a go. No, I'm not. No, I'm no, not. No, no, no. No, he is. He's, he's definitely... Because even though... It, he's definitely having a go. It is their own fault. And it is their own fault. Right. Um, I don't know if you know this about fat people. Um, they fucking love cake. I don't like cake. Love it. They love it. Right? Not really. And I not blame the food person. industries. Because... You go into the supermarket and it's just packed with that stuff. Everything's packed with hydrogenated fats and extra cannabis and sugar and butter and everything. And they, they love that, okay? And there's always a big door, isn't there, to a supermarket? It's always, they've got a quadruple door, isn't it? No one's ever been too fat to get through the door of a supermarket, right. okay? And it opens automatically, so they don't have to waste calories pushing anything. There's just, <laughs> and it's a good job it opens automatically, because usually it's glass and they can see the pie from down the road and they're in like that. <laughs> Grazing, right? So, I say... Grazing? Keep the big door. Keep the big door. Sure, keep the big door. Right, Come right. on, fat people. Come in, you go. Okay. But when they get in there, it's all fresh fruit and veg. It's all whole grain. It's all stuff that's good for you, okay? Of course they'll be confused at first. They go, well, that's, that's not real food to them. They think Brussels sprouts is packaging, right? They're, <laughs> they're looking, where's the cakes? Where's the cakes? The cakes are over here, but the cakes are through a different door. But this door is human-sized. Okay. Oh. So now they go, there's the cakes. They go, oh fuck, I can't get in. I can't, can't get through the fucking door. I can't. <laughs> and they're starving. I go, oh God, I've got, what's this? I've got to eat some, what's this, a banana? <laughs> and they go, oh no, I still can't. Back and have a carrot. <laughs> they're back and forth for days and the fat's falling off them. Soon they can slip through the door. And have a cake. They can't get out again. No, but I mean... <laughs> they can't get out again, bro. Oh, man. All right, so first encounter with this guy. Um, he's good. He's definitely different from, from, the one, from the comedians that we generally encounter here on the channel. Um, but he's definitely very good at it. Um, again, but, it, but maybe I'm coming from a standpoint of generally I don't get offended when people speak. Um, that, that's putting too much power in someone saying something. I don't know. So I generally just don't care when what people say on average. Specifically, if it's like negative, forget it, guys. Um, but all right. Is he funny? Yeah, he's funny. Uh, am I offended by it? No. So maybe I ruined your suggestion. Maybe you thought I was going to be like crying in a corner over this, guys. I don't know. But all right. Let me know in the comments on the next thing from him that I should be checking out, and I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right. Listen, you guys all have an amazing day. Enjoy it thoroughly, all right?